Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. And in this video, we are going to talk about how we can get metrics about what's going on in our microservice. So before we start, there are two things that I am adding to this project to make it easier for people starting from scratch. We have this uh, init.sql where we are just inserting the users and the password is academy. And then we have here on the application.yaml, I just added one uh, parameter create database if not exist. So this way everybody just downloading the project or cloning from GitHub will be able to start with uh, fewer hassle. Okay, so let's talk about what we can do to know what's happening in our service. So we have this Spring Boot application and this is a microservice and you know that microservices are supposed to be scalable. So it means that you can have several different uh, instances running and sometimes you don't even know, for example, how many you are going to have at the end of the day. It depends on the demand. And for that, it's a good idea to have some metrics. So for example, how do you know how many requests? How do you know uh, the memory that your service is uh, consuming? So for that, Spring provides us the actuator. So actuator will provide some metrics and we can add the actuator directly from Spring Starter. Just add one dependency actuator, Spring Boot Starter actuator. And just by adding this, we will have some access to the metrics. So let's just uh, start an application and then I will go to localhost. And now we have this uh, endpoint at actuator. And then we have several different values that we can have here. So all the metrics are now on Spring Boot 2 inside the actuator endpoint. So by trying to access, actuator is using the configuration for, for the Spring security that we have for our app. So just Log in with William or Dev Dojo Academy, and now you can have here the status. So this is just a JSON, and we can have uh, something checking if this status is up, and if it changes to down, for example, we could have like uh, a pod being scaled up if this uh, gets changed to down. So this is just the basics. So for example, what more? information can we get so we just can go to spring actuator documentation and then if you scroll down you will see that we have different information here different metrics but not all, not all of them are available out of the box we have to enable them so by just adding the actuator dependency we get the ones that we have this yes on web so health and info so let's change to info and it's empty. I'm going to explain why it's empty. Actually, let's go now. So the info endpoint, it's actually uh, empty by default because it will give information that we have available inside our application.yaml that starts with info. So for example, we can add here info and then app the spring will to essentials. And then we can add here website. And then we can add here, for example, GitHub. And I don't remember the GitHub for us. One second. Okay, so now that we have this, if we just restart application or if you have dev tools and uh, on frame deactivation, update class and resources, you don't have to reboot. So going back here, now if we load the info, we will get that information available for us so this is how the info works now let's uh, see a little bit more about the health so the health endpoint it can provide us more details we have one property here let's go into here so we can add a couple more information just let me copy here because i don't remember What is the property? It starts with this. So management endpoint and then actually endpoints. 
and then web exposure so we can include all of them so for example all of this we can include by adding this so when we do this we have all those endpoints all those ids available for us all those that are for web not gmx so for example if i come here and i type uh, change actuator slash metrics we can see all the metrics available but we are not seeing the values for those metrics if you want to get the value just copy any metric id and then you add after metrics i don't know if the zoom is actually working slash and then the that value and as you can see we have here for jdbc connections max the value 10 and we can also check uh, something else jdbc connections active and so on so we have all this uh, information available for us and if you have something pulling this data we can create some awesome graphics awesome graphs not graphics okay now if we go to the health endpoint this is the one i was trying to talk about we have this status up but we can add more information by adding endpoint and then here health and then you have uh, show details and we can add this when authorized because we are authorized anyway so when you do this just wait a little until the application restarts now we can uh, see more details so all these endpoints they are uh, they can be customized so you can create your own java method that will add more information when it's up when it's down or extra information available for these endpoints but we are not going to cover that you can always check the documentation for spring because at the end they somewhere here they show you how to get more information about your uh, how to add more information to your endpoints okay so another thing is uh, as you can see we can do it individually for the endpoints and then we can also come here to our configuration and we can say that the actuator endpoints are available so we can do this and matchers i'm not saying that this is a good idea especially because you have some really specific uh, endpoints there that can give uh, some sensitive information so not enemies actuator and then permit all so when you do this the actuator now does not need to be um, authenticated to get you some information so let's copy this let's open incognito and let's add information so this is not uh, incognito this is incognito there you go so as you can see the health endpoint does not provide the details because you are not uh, authenticated another thing is if you don't want to expose all of them you can choose what you want just change the start here with uh, for example i want info i want health and i would like metrics so now only these three endpoints will be available to you if you try to access any other it will give you 404 so for example health still works info metrics but if i try m for example i get 404 or if i try let me copy another one so for example beans i also get 404 so it's up to you how many endpoints uh, from the actuator will be available so this is how we can expose metrics to anything that's going to get to pull these metrics we could push pull there are a couple of things that we can do and i think uh, maybe it's a good idea to take a look at um, prometheus and uh, maybe grafana so let's uh, leave that for the next video so see you bye